Mwanyi di mano mwe mwanyi kibe ya Eni lebe joro Ufanya jisu ugo Mwa meje jemba Odibeze mwa mede moko Anya furu Unuwa jibwa sinabriba Mwa meke nem geke nem geke nem geke nem go Oya ade eh Yo ma melody My sweet baby The one where they make my heart go Jim Jim and shake body See, I promise you, you go chop money. The love where you give me so, and I don't really the queen where on my heart, the crown upon my head, the essence of my life. Oh, give no be more. The queen where on my heart, the crown upon my head, the essence of my life. Oh, give no be more. Vanessa Wilkes, you know what they're doing? I will address you as appropriately. I will hand over the mic. Thank you very much, Master of Ceremony. This is a wonderful evening, and we are all overjoyed. So can you give yourselves a round of applause, please? And before I proceed, can I ask uh, that uh, young man, called Mr. Wilson to come up and join us. Because as they say, you know, what God has put together, let no more put us on even, even when you are giving the PhD, you cannot put us on <laughs> so, Where is Wilson? Mr. Wilson. He's coming up with an important part of the regalia on top of that. Congratulations, congratulations. Well, you know, the university already did this in their own way, and we're here to do it in our own way, because we want to be those that transmit the blessings from our ancestors to our wonderful, beautiful daughter. In fact, uh, this evening, we were a number of us who knew her parents and grandparents who were celebrating our grandparents this <laughs> evening. We had a lot of stories to tell about Pa 
and I know Pa is up there, he's just looking and smiling. Amen. For those of you who knew Pa, I'm sure he will be taking his snuff, as we used to call it, <laughs> and telling some wonderful stories about what Venisa and the grandkids are doing to this uh, Kambumara dynasty. I don't call them a family, I call them a dynasty because they truly are. So, a round of applause. So, we're going to ask our lady doctor in the house, our daughter, our spouse, our mommy, our doctor, to go first, and she's going to put on. Dr. Venetia's gown. So Woo! over to you, Dr. Isabel Mba. I am a soldier at a doctor could do this so elegantly. Thank you, Dr. Isabella. And now we're going to ask Dr. Venetia's two uncles to take her to the next level and give their blessing as well. And we're going to have Dr. Tebit, Victor Tebit, as well as Dr. Humphrey Kampumbara to jointly put on the hood. Over to you. MC. Uh, DJ, is it? Yes, DJ. All right, I'm, I'm trying to do those things. <laughs> I used to do that about 30 years ago, now I've lost track. Yeah, I'll show you now more. Absolutely, absolutely. So the two uncles jointly are blessing her by putting on the hood. <laughs> and also one of her uncles to say a few words about the hood. Ladies and gentlemen, our most distinguished invitees, I want you to look at Vanessa 
from the back. Turn. Woo! This is a philosophy doctor. This is a philosophy doctor. So, this hood is meant for philosophers. In the days of old, these philosophy doctors were the people who dispense wisdom. And because of the wisdom that they dispense, they could not be paid for it. So what the Greeks used to do was that there was no money that you could pay a philosopher, a doctor like this. So because of that, you could only drop in their pay. No one was qualified to give them a pay in their hands. So you could only drop their pay in this hole. That's how wow. it works. Wow. So, so now going forward, we will not be able to pay her for her services. Amen. We can only, out of honor and respect, drop whatever we have in the hood. Another round of applause for Dr. Victor Tebi. You know, that's what you get on an evening like this. It's beautiful, a wonderful ceremony. It touches your heart. You also get some words of wisdom, right? Oh, yes. And you also get some motivation. For those of you who are still thinking, we know a lot of you are still searching your paths. You're working extremely hard. And you want to guarantee that sooner or later, sooner or later, we'll be here again to celebrate. So we are working on the last component of all of this, which is going to be the heart with the tassel. And uh, being the diligent husband that he is, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Wilson is here bearing the last benediction for his beloved wife, Dr. Venetia. So, I have the honor, the privilege to put this on.
and the husband we bless you for your grace bestow upon her and her family thank you for using her to be an example for many other young men and women in this place and especially in this family and we pray may your blessing be bestowed over her life in the name of Jesus we pray that you take her to another level in the name of Jesus we pray, O oh Lord, may you grant her uncommon wisdom. Amen. Even to bring about something that would be great for our community and our people in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray for every young man and every young woman here today. Father, may you lift the spirit, the zeal, and the commitment for each and everyone for research, for studies, for creativity, for invention. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, bless us. And we pray for all the goodwill who are here today. May you minister to each and every one of them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for the MC. May you bless him. And may he give his life to Jesus first. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, bless the Cameroonian community. Bless the Nigerian community. Bless the African community. May you minister to every soul here today. Because only through Jesus will we know about time because you are the God of time. Father, reveal yourself to us. Bless the food. Bless all those who are going to eat. Bless us as we go back. We give you all the glory and all the honor. We cover this place under the blood of Jesus. We pray specifically for the Kembomara family. Oh my God, may you are grace abound over that family in the name of Jesus. May the young men and the young women inside grow in wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding, in science, in technology, and above all in the fear of God in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Thank you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So they can rest in peace. Please be on your feet, everybody. May the souls of Mr. Nzi and Mr. Aburo rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thank you very much. Please have your seats. So I will call on someone from the Ken Bumbaras family to come up here and give us a short welcome speech in 48 seconds and then we'll go to the table. Are we together? So if you clap for this person, she will give the speech in less than 48 seconds. Eh? So we all will MC this occasion together. Are we ready? So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mark Helen Ganar Mami Prime in the building as she comes here to welcome us. Yes, sir.
Thank you, DJ. You said uh, how many seconds? 48 seconds, yeah. Let me start by saying this. In 2003, when I attended my, my brother's graduation, Dr. Kim Bumala Humphrey, I left from there directly to the library. <laughs> I pick up books, I pick up books upon books, and uh, until today, I don't know how it ended. Anyways, I am very happy and proud to welcome all of you here tonight who have come to celebrate with us as we honor another doctor into the Ken Bumbalas and the Wilson family. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Helen Ken Bumbala. You know what time it is. For those who know me well, they are actually talking to themselves and asking, when did she become a doctor? Let me tell you, when you are a mother of a doctor, automatically you become a... Let me put it this way. When you give birth to a doctor by default, you are a... <laughs> 42 seconds, right? <laughs> okay. Um... We decided to make this program very short and sweet. So I wish I can call everybody by their names to say thank you so much for coming. But because we want to make this exceptional, short, even the mother of the doctor, they say she has 40, 42 seconds, then you know what it means. So I want to seize this little opportunity to just say welcome we thank you guys for coming. I cannot call names because I see, um, let me, I cannot go without acknowledging our in-laws here from Nigeria. We love you and uh, you guys, we are just proud to be part of you. I can also see my uncles from Basie. I say uncle and auntie, welcome. I see the friends of uh, Vanessa. Hey, sorry, man. I see the friends of Dr. Vanessa and uh, Mr. Wilson in here, I want to say thank you so much for coming. I want to welcome the Guzan community, the Basie community, the Mogamo community in general, the Gentleman Club, and uh, once more, let's shout, let's make some noise for the doctors again in the house. The Emperor, the Conqueror, the Champion, the Lion is here. I have to go. Andola 
Grasslands of Cameroon. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present to you the wonderful, beautiful, magnificent Adele Labelle Clarice. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. So, the song I want to do is a very special song, and I was asked to do this song by Vanessa's parents. So give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Ken Bumbara Samuel. They wanted me to do this song for their beautiful daughter. I hope I don't cry. I'll try. <laughs> DJ.
Like I thought. You got something? DJ, we need to power it. Hey! Yeah. DJ, we need to Everybody, let's go! MC, we need to power
That's from Cameroon, the call is from Cameroon. So, the DJ say 40 seconds. 40 seconds is not enough for me. Yeah. Well, to my, my daughter and my son-in-law, words alone cannot address how I'm so overwhelmed and joy and proud of what you have done. I have to be very careful with my words because I have young ones in here. If I use something, I think I will, I will, they will put me in a dog house, as they call in America, a dog house. I am so honored and so proud. Well, uh, before I say something, my other sister, I have two other sisters. One is like a twin sister to me. I know they were they going to say something, but I want you guys to see them. Uh, Manny, can you stand up for me, please? <laughs> Ma Mary, can you stand up for me, please? Uh, Bato uh, DC, can you stand up? <laughs> Bato of Maryland, can you stand up? Uh, Marpe, yeah. <laughs> On behalf of this family, you can see and feel the heat, feel the joy in the hall. We are so grateful. We are so grateful from the depth of our hearts, particularly for people who came overseas who came out of state on behalf of this family. This is a blessed family. We are so blessed. We have so many things to name, but because of time, we want to thank each and every one because words alone, again, cannot. But out of these Pumbalas, one of them will just say thank you out of my own time. Hello. It's a great honor, and I'm really humbled to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to our daughter. Thank you to the husband. Thank you to everyone who has made it here today. Particularly touched, and I feel like crying because. This is a result of humble beginnings. And when I say humble beginnings, I mean it. And Vanessa, I am very convinced you know to who you owe this PhD. Minister, I'm not welcome here. Where is not long. These are the people who own that PhD of today. Minister and Mark Locke. These are the people we are celebrating here today. From humble beginnings. I honor you. I thank 
Thank you, Minister. And to you, my daughter, what else can I say? An embodiment of determination, an embodiment of hard work, an embodiment of resilience, an embodiment of humility, an embodiment of success. To my humble in-law, my son, I can't even call you an in-law. I just want to thank you for the love. To have succeeded the way she did. Double PhD, a baby and a certificate. from behind. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I say oh, thank yes. you. Oh, yes. And to this wonderful family, PhD is a project. It's not a certificate. A project is not realized by one person. A project is that you have an idea, you go into deep research, you mobilize people to work with you. The certificate is the end. So this wonderful family here, you've all contributed in one way or the other. And today we celebrate you. And we say thank you very much for supporting this, our daughter. And uh, just one thing about the root. When I was coming here, I was like, in the Boomerang family in such occasions, we laugh and we cry. And we laugh again. Because we will all say, where if power here? And I think Dr. Chris said it. If power here, for the people who know Pabumbara, just make one gesture of what Pabumbara would have done today. What would he have done? Afigi? Afigi. Aye, Kamu. So, that is your grandfather. He is not here, but he is represented in everyone who is here. And I know what you have gone through, my daughter. I was making a joke that I started a PhD program before she was born. I am still on it. I'm not giving up. My sister said she went to the library and left. I'm not yet left the library. I'm still researching. And I will have that PhD. By that time, you will be a professor. And you will wear my cup for me. Keep that humility, keep that obedience, keep that respect, keep that faith in God. Keep learning from the foolish and the wise. You've just had a certificate of knowledge. You need the certificate of life. The PhD of life is a continuous journey. It doesn't end. And you will keep learning. May the Lord bless you. 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 Mama, do 40 seconds. Let's go. Good morning to everybody in this hall. Um, I'm standing here on so many capacities, but I'm going to talk about two. Vanessa is my niece. But today, I'm going to talk about her as my mother, because she was named after my mother. And the father was named after my father. So we have Sam Tebo and Muya. That's my mother, and Sam is my father. 
thank God. So I'm the big baby of this evening. Thank you, dear. Thank you for this joy that you have put in our hearts this day. And Mami Oldham sent a message to you today that she is so proud of you. I told her I was coming for your graduation and she said she is so proud. That is the only living auntie in the Bumara's family. We thank God that she is still there, working well and sending peace to the family. We want to thank God for this evening and we want to thank you all for coming and we'll say, like Marjan said, we're still waiting for you to be a professor and it's going to come very soon. And we still have to come back to this hall. Thank you so much. And we pray you to continue to live, to continue to work well, to continue to live well. I know that Mr. Wilson is a good person. And I know that Vanessa is a good lady. And I know that the sky is not a limit for you guys. Amen. You are going to go above it. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming. One of the first in laws of the Bumbaras family. Please, if you are an in law, when I call you, come outside. If you are an in law, when I call you, come outside. I want us to equally recognize the giant of Gusa. Ghana. Where is Uncle D in the building? Uncle D, come out! Yes, the heartbeat of my Helen. The heartbeat of my Helen, please come outside. Yes. Yes. Thank you, DJ. If you know one of the dopest, the most dappest, the most sexiest, the most richest, the most intelligent, Mogamwan, who is a a Bumbara's family. I mean, the woman with the swag called Ma Helen Prime. Now, this guy, now he's the controller. The guy. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, there is another guy who is hailing all the way from Manu. This party man is too strong. Now, he can't come, he can't look one Bumbara family begin. He win and go. His name is Clovis Prof. Papa Clovis, where are you? I want to call on one other guy who is the man behind the reason why we are here today. He is the guy behind the PhD, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Mr. Wilson of the Billy. Come on, friend. That part gentleman, hailing all the way from Guzan, this guy is so full of swag. The man's size speaks for himself. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Grand Boss in the building. Oh. Bosco, hello, who? Grand Boss. Hey, the biggest swaggy. Come on, come on, Grand Boss. A traditional leader hailing all the way from Bali. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy, if he is here, you need to clap. Yes. If you don't clap, tradition will catch you. Ladies and gentlemen, is Babu Ma in the house? Babu Ma. Where Babu Ma is? Is Babu Ma in the house? I don't want me to catch me. Where are you? All the way from Bali. Babu Ma, where are you? Babu Ma is in the building. Babu Ma. Welcome. Welcome. Am I omitting any Bumbara? This is Babu. Bumbara. 
I knew that girl when she was 14. I mean, when I know her, I mean. Yeah. She was 14. I said, get high out. My wife. She's my wife. I'm one of the. One of the boyos of the Bumbara family. So I joined this cafeache. So on behalf of the boyos, I want to hand the microphone to the senior boyo to bless this occasion. To our very own Mr. Tekong. Uh, thank you, Mr. MC. Uh, I'm very sure you did not use uh, only 30 seconds. Did you take 30 seconds to stand here? I will speak more than 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everybody. This afternoon, we were just joking with uh, my sister in law. Who just spoke here? I said, oh, if I were here. And Dr. Chris, really, who knows Pa very well, said exactly what Pa Bumbaro would have done. And today, by some chance, I don't know, I have hardly worn this dress. This dress, I bought it in Garwa Bulai. There were two of them, one for Pa Bumbaro. And today, I just... Something just occurred to me that I have to wear this. Little did I know that I was going to speak here. In fact, I see this a great blessing. Pablo Mara was, was somebody who loved mankind. Pablo Mara was somebody who stayed with me. He didn't consider me like, or oh, as an in law. I was to him his son. I will testify. And I've always testified that Baba blessed me more than my own parents. Anytime he saw me, he would take me and bless me. And I felt always so happy and so proud, so strong. I continue to give all this blessing Amen. to Amen. all these in law. Because Amen. at the time I was the only in law. These all of them they followed after me. And uh, I don't know if Papa Mara does not know any one of them. <laughs> so, I will in spirit communicate and introduce all of you to Papa Mara. And you will all receive the blessing Amen. that you gave me. Everybody here, you go home blessed. Papa Mara was Get his blessings. Papa was a man of family. Go home today, everybody, and let your families to be the dynasty that Dr. Chris mentioned for Papa family. God bless everybody. Thank you very much. Why were you in At the end of the popping, you will propose a toast. I want to play with everyone in the house. Whatever you have in front of you is a champagne to die. Okay? If you have Guinness for your front, that Guinness is a champagne. If you have Coca-Cola, that Coca-Cola is a champagne. By the time our Warren Green is proposing a toast, just grab it up, okay? I will do the toast proposal. Are we together? Because we are listening to Vanessa and Bosman after this and then dance. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to propose the toast, but not before then, we have to pop the champagne. DJ, give us something that sounds like popping of the champagne while this fine we You know what time it is. We love champagne. Yeah. We need to pop, 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 pop
You can never imagine. Am I lying, Papa Clovis? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we will let Clovis, one of our best in laws, say a word and then our in law, all the way from Nigeria, he will say a word and then this fine couple will crown it all. And then guess what? Nanjuka Hola. Eh? Why you are saying something? Go to the bar. Go to ya. Go to ya. Jean. The wife becomes Dr. Mrs. When the wife has a PhD, the husband probably becomes Dr. Mr. Right? Now, my question is when your in law has a PhD, what do you become? So, that is what I want to leave here today because I need to put my name on that PhD. <laughs> All right, very quickly, you know, the adults have spoken. I heard a lot of noise back there because the youths did not get any representation. So I'm here. So I need your attention. When we have an occasion like this, there are two things that happen. One, we eat, we drink, we enjoy. Number two, what is the lesson? What did we learn? Right? Like the MC says, Professor, I'm always going to be one. So let me tell you guys, in the United States, there are two things that you have to keep in mind to succeed. One is you have to learn to multitask. We have all learned that process here. You have to juggle too many things at the same time. School, work, your finances, your husband, wife, your kids, all of that. You have to do it together. But unfortunately, some people cannot do that. They cannot do multiple things at the same time. They can only do one, then wait and finish, then the next, right? And there's no problem with that. Some people have to finish school before they marry. Some people have to enjoy life before they go to school. And that is okay. That leads me to the second point, which is prioritization. You have to learn to prioritize your things. If you don't prioritize, you fall in a hole, right? Which means you do one thing, you finish, and then you do the next. There's nothing wrong with that, but make sure your priorities are aligned. In, in economics, they, 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 they call it opportunity cost. I'm not going to go into that detail. In cyber security, you guys know what we call it? No. Cost benefit analysis. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, you have to learn to prioritize. So, my whole point is Vanessa here has a PhD. There's a saying in broken English that says what? Follow who know. Thank you. So if you have to be like her, you got to follow her. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Where's my wife? 
baby. I'm starting my PhD in 20 January 2024. And to everybody in this hall, this is in three years' time I will graduate, so this is your official invitation. Thank you. Papumura, you find in law, am I lying? Please put your hands together to Professor. Professor Clovis. You are still starting PhD. You don't have been a professor. So he was ordained to be a professor. Please put your hands together for him. Our in law, bless us. Hello. Um, I'm just going to say how proud I am of Danny. I mean, like, I've known this boy for, this man, sorry. I've known this man for almost, what, 10 years? I mean, like, from Laurel in Maryland, and I can just tell you, Stanley is, I call him a machine. You cannot beat the type of determination oh, yes. this young man has. And to see that he's found a partner that's like him, I mean, I'm just so proud of them. I can't give for him. And I just pray that everything you hope for, everything you desire, everything you are working hard for is going to come to pass. I love you very dearly. Amen. I'm very proud of you. you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, our in-law is the only person that I've respected time to today. Put your hands together for him! Okay! This is the main event of the night. Let us hear from the doctor. <laughs> PhD. You don't guy don't make a dumb. Don't that is dumb. You will talk to us. We will have to hear from this your husband who is so soft spoken and chill. We will hear from him first. Because you might say something and he just says my sweetheart said it all. We don't want that. So ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you. The husband. But before I do that, I want them to move one step to the left, my back, and cut this cake. I can't cut my cake. You must begin. We don't celebrate. Now they don't give us PhD. We need celebrate. What else do we need? We need another beginning. Uncle Humphrey, if I said your mind, please clap again. <laughs> we will spell one word. The key. The key. Any way you know the word, me shout my ear. T. Give me a W. W. Give me an I. I. Give me an N. I. Give me an S. I. And what is that? Swiss. Hey! Put your hands together for this amazing couple. Okay, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, I was there at your marriage before I can pass that kiss. So, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, from my heart, I want to say congratulations, Vanessa. Personally, she is a role model to me. A role model. So, if someday I invite you guys to come to the graduation party, of Dr. Darcy. Hey! Hey! If you touch my heart somehow. Ladies and gentlemen, Stan Lion is in the building. Give it up for Stan Lion. Yes. I will be so honored. So I want us to hear from these two beautiful two in one. They say one plus one is one. So you guys will talk to us because we are crowning up the occasion, okay? After this, please, everybody will be coming to the dance floor to dance with you. See Doreen, uh, the beautiful dark chocolate right there, she got money. If you need change, you can go to her. Um, uh, gentlemen's group, once again, you'll be coming up to start this occasion, and we shall be doing dance, dance, dance. So please, ladies and gentlemen, again, once again, please, put your hands together as I have that microphone to the Wilson's family in the building. Please, clap for the Wilson's family. Hello everyone. All right. She forced me to talk, okay? Um, 
the solidity is that a lot of you guys don't know about this whole uh, PhD journey. Um, you know, before I begin, I would like to say, you know, you did this while being a loving wife, a wonderful mom, a loving sister, and a wonderful aunt. All right. Most importantly, a wonderful daughter to your parents, your mom and your dad. All right, you know, looking back to when this journey uh, started, I think around March of 2020, right? We were actually talking about, you know, uh, she doing a you know, PhD, and we were joking, right? Okay, by the time you're done, you know, you can start going for those kind of um, executive positions, you know, COO, CEO, CIO, okay? We're getting there, we're not there yet though, but we're getting there, but... <laughs> The funny thing was, after having that conversation, she was like, you know, she's still thinking about it. She's not, she hasn't made her mind yet. But, you know, a couple of days later, she called me and she was like, I already registered. And I'm starting like, two weeks now, I was like, really they would finalize if you're still going to be doing the PhD. But well, you're already done with it. So that was when I actually realized that, okay, you are a goal getter, right? And there's anyone here if you're thinking about doing something, you know, something for your life, whatever it is, right? Just go for it, right? Because we started in 20, March of 2020. Today, um, October 2023, and she's done. So it's it's beautiful, actually. Yeah, just to see that. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You know, it wasn't easy. There were times that, you know, she's like, why did I even start this stuff? Why did I even start this BND, right? And I keep on encouraging her, I kept on encouraging her that, okay, you got this, you got this, you can do this. And even our friends here who are here now, they can actually, you know, attest to it and they'll be like, you're doing it for us. You're doing it for us, you know, get it for us. Because they don't, they don't want to go do it themselves, they're like, do it for us, you know. And again, our parents, we should do it for our parents. So all those were her motivating factors right and i was also there for her to you know help her through the way and you know we got married you know fast forward she got pregnant right it was even harder during the pregnancy because the sickness right and she was still like trying to you know write her chapters you know there's chapter one chapter two three four and five right and also towards the end of the pregnancy that was you know where you know i saw the strength i really saw the strength in her because Whenever we're going for a doctor's appointment, she always have a laptop with her writing her uh, chapters for her dissertation. Like doing her research. So it was just so amazing scene. And just sometimes that like, she takes the laptop, like just leave the laptop at home and she takes it and just hold it on her lap and then she just sleeps while I drive to the appointments. <laughs> okay, I'll say this though. One day, like just one day after she put to bed, was still in the hospital, she was still in the hospital bed. She actually took the laptop to the hospital. <laughs> and she asked me to give her the laptop, like, the next day after she put to bed, I was like, no, no, I can't, I can't do that. So that's just for you to see how determined uh, she was when it, when it comes to completing this PhD. So, I want to say, I love you, my doctor, all right? <laughs> A handful of personalities. You're gonna have to talk to us, okay? I wanna plead with everyone. If you, familiar? They say, do for me the way you want. I'm do for you, right? If you came here for. Dr. Vanessa came, it is time to hear from her. And I want to pray that we all will give her that attention that is expected. Are we together? Yes. Please, let us hear from her. Nae go do the PhD. Eh? So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I have the rare honor and privilege to present to you the latest PhD holder in the family. 
doctor, Vanessa will send her the bill. Um, but before I get started, my mom and my dad, honestly, I'll start tearing up if I start talking. Thank you so much. Thank you. They didn't go to school, but they instilled in me the value of education. My dad has always wanted me to be a doctor, and it is honestly the highest reason why I did this. And this is for him and to my wonderful brother. <laughs> My dad never wanted me to work, you know. He would tell me, take, take my credit card, do what you have to do, I just want you to go to school. That's all he ever said, every single time. And there's somebody here that I owe so much to. She's my auntie, she's my mother, she's my mentor. My headline, Anna. The reason why I'm in America. Without her, my parents wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have had everything that I had. I wouldn't be where I am without you. I don't know where you are, but thank you so much. Thank you. She's a mentor to me because my husband said I'm a go getter. You should meet my mother. <laughs> I'm off to the city and this time I'm just in my dreams. I'm long in the street, so allow me to walk with the peace. I can't wait to get back home. I need to make enough money. I bring to home. So My fathers and mentors too, Dr. Chris, Dr. Victor, to my auntie and my mentor too, Dr. Isabella. I can't thank you guys enough because it's because of you too that I'm able to see some people that are ahead of me and people that I want to be like. And those are things that push us to do better. So thank you for passing the way for some of us. When I look at you guys, I'm like, I want to be like her. I want to be like him. And that's a push doctor. And I thank you. My family, the Bumbara's family, one of the biggest family in the whole world. <laughs> you guys are all amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. You have helped me in one way or the other. My daddy here, you can see how excited he is. for me and other Bumbaras. My wonderful husband and his family, I have never met a man so You know, if I start talking about this man, honestly, you guys would think I'm lying because he is amazing. He is, I don't know, I don't know how to describe you. You, you, he, you know, I don't even know if you're human. You're like an angel.
much for the support. And thank you so much for, for pushing me, for letting me know who I am. Even when I think that I'm less of who I am, you remind me of who I am. And I'm grateful for that. Thank you for the push. Thank you for being a great husband, a great father, a great brother-in-law, a great son-in-law. He's everything. And the greatest IT professional I've ever met. I just want to say for all the young people in the building, honestly, if I can do this, you guys can do this too. Oh, yes! Because if a lot of you don't know, I did this while working full time, while being a mother, while being a wife, while being a helpful daughter to my parents. Oh, yes! And it's, it wasn't an easy journey, but I made it through. And one thing that I can say is, I remember one time, somebody told me, that's when I just got my master's degree, and he said, I will quote his words, in this field, degrees don't really matter. That was what he said. And I said, you don't know what you're talking about. Because right from when I got into this field, my first job, I was making more than him. You know, and this is not to look down at anyone, but to encourage you. And this PhD opened so many doors for me before I even had it. You must not get to a PhD level, but do something. If you have anything you want to do in mind, even if it's a business, school, whatever it is that you want to do, put your mind to it, be determined. Of course, you're going to have challenges. There's nothing good that comes without challenges. I've had my own fair share of challenges. Like you said, there were so many times that I wanted to give up. My friends can testify, my sister, Stoli, who is also, I cannot thank her enough for everything that she's done. She's the mother of my kids. I, I can't be some the mom, because she takes better care of them than I could. She's been there for me, taking care of the kids, making sure that she's encouraging me, and my friends too. Alisa, I see you. She's been one of the greatest people pushing me through this. And Vanessa, Lizzy, I can't call everybody, but you guys are the reason why I'm here. And I'm grateful to all of you. And one thing you should take home tonight is anything that you have in your mind that you want to do, go home, think about it, write it out, and go for it. Thank you.
Yo, sis, baby. Always from The only time that you say that you hate me.